And we're in Studio B for this edition of Political Corner. I'm joined by Zach Anderson, political editor of the Herald Tribune. Zach, thanks for joining us. I want to talk about the upcoming gubernatorial election. It's in 2018 here in Florida, but John Morgan, the famous Florida attorney from Orlando, exploring a possible bid. This seems interesting. It really is a fascinating option for Democrats. Morgan is known for being extremely blunt spoken for being sort of over the top. People have compared him to Trump, sort of the Democratic version of Trump here uh, in Florida. He's rich and he's extremely well known. He's a lot of things that Democrats haven't had in a candidate in recent years. So I think a lot of people are looking at that and thinking that, you know, he's a, he's a, a totally different candidate for them and maybe somebody who would have more of a shot. He was uh, big in the medical marijuana issue here in Florida, which of course passed uh, last year. I want to talk about Steve Bannon. Uh, people are fascinated, of course, uh, President Trump's top aide in the White House, and he has some connections here, but he seems to be in the news a lot lately. Yeah, Bannon has become sort of the, the, the liberal um, boogeyman for a lot of people in this country. They, they think that Bannon is sort of pulling the strings uh, in the Trump administration is, and is behind a lot of the executive orders that Trump has been putting out, and he does have a connection here in Sarasota. You know, Trump famously said that he thought that this election had been uh, that the popular vote, uh, the only reason that he lost the popular vote to Hillary Clinton is because of election fraud and that people were, uh, you know, registered to vote uh, multiple times. Well, Bannon was registered to vote multiple times. He was registered to vote here in Sarasota County and he was registered to vote in New York. So some people have said it's kind of hypocritical for him to be saying this uh, when his own uh, aide was registered multiple times. And we also know that Donald Trump likes to be the boss, so we will see how this plays out over the next coming weeks. Zach Anderson, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.